As a child, Sam was always athletic, always competitive. When Sam would get hit, Sam would get right up. At a really young age, Sam learned how to be tough and to play against boys. I think the first time I really fell in love with football, I was a girl in like third grade playing in a league full of boys. A 17 year old is fighting to get girls tackle football in high school. I mean, now I'm like five foot and if I wanted to go compete against the 300 pound high school kids, it would be dangerous for me. It's just not practical to have me compete against high school boys who are three times my size. You might remember Sam Gordon. She became a YouTube sensation as a little girl that could beat all the boys at football. As a child, Sam really enjoyed playing touch football at recess. And I would pick her up and then go pick her older brother, Max, up from his football practices. And at the end of Max's football practices, the coach would run wind sprints. And Sam would ask me, she said, hey, can I go run these wind sprints with these boys? I said, sure, Sam, but just, you know, move off to the side a little bit so you don't get in their way. And so here's Sam at eight years old and Max at 11 with all of his teammates, and Sam's just smoking them. Sam's first year, she goes to the first game, and she scores all these touchdowns, and they win the game. We posted Sam's highlight video. And within three days, the video had over 5 million views. Nine-year-old Sam, Sam Gordon. Gordon. Sam Gordon. Sam Gordon. Sam Gordon. Sam Gordon. The Ellen Show, Good Morning America. It just kind of blew up and went viral. I got to go out to a practice and a game for the 49ers and hang out with the team. Going to the Super Bowl with Roger Goodell and then definitely getting the Game Changer Award was an experience I'll never forget. Thank you, Commissioner Goodell and the NFL for shining a big, bright light on the most important movement in women's sports. So I had heard it a lot from my friends that, yeah, like these other girls want to come out and play football, but I didn't really realize how many girls there were until I was speaking at a middle school assembly. And it seemed like almost every hand in the room went up. And that was kind of a moment where if there's this many girls at this one school who want to play football, like imagine how many there are in the state or in the country, and they're not given that opportunity Girls want to play football. I knew that there was a desire among girls for the girls' football league. Six weeks later, we had our first tryouts. In our first couple of seasons, the girls weren't as experienced, and they didn't know how to play football. But now, if you go out to these games, the girls are juking and making tackles and passes, just like the boys' league. The first time I went and watched a game, I was like, man, these girls can really do it. It's really fun to watch. It's not your backyard football. It's organized football with girls with athletic abilities that are doing really well. We've had girls who have been bullied and have low self-esteem and because of their weight they've been mistreated and yet when they come on the football field we've got a position for them every week i'll get text messages or emails from parents saying you don't know how much football means to my daughter it's literally changed her life has been difficult spreading the word. So that's why we're really hoping in the future we can get it as a high school sport because that really helps get the message across and show girls like, hey, this is real. You can go play for your high school team. It's the nation's most popular sport, yet there's not really this opportunity for girls getting to play. Girls should have separate teams to play football, like the boys get to do every single Friday night. And I think girls should be given that same opportunity to play.
Girls love it and girls can do it at a high level. So why not give them the opportunity to make that happen? I think it's huge for not just Sam, but for the community in general. The most frustrating thing is the school districts are knowingly discriminating against girls and have done nothing to remedy that discrimination. I'm Meg Chatterley and I am 11 years old. I really think about in the future what it's gonna be like if I'm ever gonna actually really be able to play football when I'm older. It's a sport that most adult women can't really play. I wanna be one of the first girls to actually play football in a girls tackle football league in high school. It inspires me so much. Just seeing other girls play makes me wanna play even more. I dream sometimes about having a career in football, like in college, being the quarterback still and throwing the ball. There's always been these standards set up for girls, and throughout history we've been told you shouldn't be able to vote or you shouldn't be able to go get a job and just stay at the home, and time and time again these stereotypes have been broken and girls have been trailblazers into these careers, and I don't think football is anything different. Seeing girls out there being coaches or refs or analysts, just it's, it's so exciting to think that we can make that change and really make progress here. Sing on three! One, two, three, three! Yeah. My name is Ashley Wilcox, Mia Gowan Lindsay Noyes, Lauren Hannison, Kennedy Kelsey Mafohingano, Lizzie Emma Casey, Allen. Gabriella Marino, Julie Pineda, Valerie Tan, Audrey Ames. I am Sam Gordon. Girls can play football too. Just watch us.